final march to King Lane's home, Stormwind Keep is at hand. Only two pathetic settlements stand in the way of the awesome juggernaut your cruel leadership has created. The humans have proved to be amusing opposition, but the hour of doom has come for them. The complete and utter demolition of the Twin Cities, Goldshire, and Moonbrook will sever the lifeline between the king and his people, making him a figurehead waiting to be lopped off. Loktarogar! This is Mick, this is Mickcraft, and we're moving on into the final two missions of the Orc campaign. Looking forward to seeing what we accomplish here. I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge the fact that, yet again, it appears we pronounce a location in Warcraft incorrectly. It's Goldshire! Now, I think that Blizzard has retconned this, and I am fairly confident it is pronounced Goldshire now, but I could be wrong. We encountered this previously with Northshire Abbey. Of course, most people say Northshire Abbey now. Footbucket, who is a English mastermind, has informed us that it's typically Shire whenever it's something like the Shire from Lord of the Rings, for example. And it's sure whenever it's at the end of a compound type word, as we have in Goldshire and Northshire. So, for the sake of the video today, I'm actually going to go ahead and use the Goldshire pronunciation. Sorry, I had to th think about it for a second to make sure I said it right. So Goldshire and Moonbrook. I was actually recently looking at the map that's provided in the Warcraft Orcs and Humans manual. And in the Warcraft 1 manual, they have a map, and Stormwind Keep is actually labeled as Stonewind Keep, which is quite interesting. You'll notice, though, that they did, in fact, pronounce it as Stormwind um, in the mission briefing rather than Stonewind. So uh, I don't know what that's all about. I guess they changed it during the initial development. Um, but we've got Stonewind Keep on the map. Goldshire is there. Moonbrook is there. Grand Hamlet is actually what is now Darkshire. Uh, fun fact. So there's Grand Hamlet on there, which is now Darkshire. But a lot of the things on the map have actually remained true to the present moment, which is uh, pretty cool, I think, actually, that a lot of the things were already set into motion back then. You know, there, there has been quite a bit of retcons. A lot of the things that were set into motion were actually um, already in the works back then. Actually, we're gonna go... I'll, I'll go into mine out that area. I think there's another gold mine over here. This is actually playthrough number two for me, or attempt number two, rather, um, of trying out this mission. I got caught up with some things and was unable to finish previously, but we're gonna make our best efforts for you now to knock this one out. Something that I was also thinking about earlier that I just, I, I need to briefly go on a rant about this because it's rather, it's a rather frustrating thing for me, but uh, here in the United States, we just went on to daylight time. I know lots of parts of Europe and Canada also observe daylight saving time, and it's, uh, some of them may line up with our dates, others it may be different, but daylight saving time is so dumb. It is unbelievably useless. It serves no purpose whatsoever. And it never did, by the way. You know, the sun... Hey, we got demons. Just uh, briefly interrupting my rant there. But uh, let's go ahead and get a warlock going so we can get demons running. But that also means... Uh-oh. The invisible water elementals are probably going to be getting... Uh, but anyways, my daylight saving time rant. So, people... If you ask people why daylight time exists, they'll say something about, you know, farmers or saving on candle lights or something like that. But th that is so ridiculous. Farmers don't look at a clock. They just work, you know, this, whenever the, the sun comes up and the sun goes down, they follow that cycle. Listen to any country song, you'll know about it. Likewise, candles. Daylight time does not actually change the number of available daylight hours. It's... <laughs> 
It's 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 all the same. You know, the sun the sun comes up or it doesn't. It's uh, well, I mean, it always comes up, but you know, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like the, the clock does not control the sun, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so, anyways, if you know anybody in politics, regardless of where you're at in the world, if your locale observes some form of daylight time, talk to your politicians and tell them, hey, let's end this. Let's end this debauchery that has been set on our planet. Please. For everybody. So, th that's the end of that rant. Um, another another fun thing for you, one of my favorite YouTube comedians is Joel Haver. He posts a lot of great videos. The first ones of his I ever saw use a very cool uh, rotoscoping type technique to film. Uh, that He uses this uh, software that's called Ebsynth, I think is how it's pronounced. Maybe it's EB synth, I don't know. But, uh, uh oh. May have overpulled there. We will see. Nah, nah, we're fine. Let's take that guy out. I don't like this uh, conjurer. Do not mistake me for a conjurer of cheap tricks, Bilbo Baggins. I'm a fan of Lord of the Rings, if you uh, if you didn't know. But, uh... Yeah, so where was I? We've got uh, Goldshire and Moonbrook. Moonbrook, of course, is in modern Westfall. In WoW Classic, it is controlled by the Defias Brotherhood. And then I believe starting in... Starting in Cataclysm, they then actually make it so that it's an Alliance city again. Uh, another random thing that I actually... I did not know until I think today, pretty interesting, is that... So, right now, we're playing as the Kingdom of Azeroth. And this kingdom, with the capital of Stormwind Keep, is also the Kingdom of Azeroth in Warcraft 2. And I believe that to be the case in Warcraft 3 as well, although I'm less sure now. But Blizzard has actually retconned this, and it is now the Kingdom of Stormwind. Azeroth refers now exclusively to the planet as a whole. So the entire planet is Azeroth, we're in the Eastern Kingdoms, and this is the Kingdom of Stormwind. Uh, but at this time, it's the Kingdom of Azeroth. So, just, I don't know, interesting random fact that I did not know until recently. Alright, let's try out our first demon. Oh, the big bad demon marches forward. I'm excited to see what kind of massacre we can pull off with this guy. Oh, yeah. Actually, yeah, we're gonna go for the night. Water Elemental coming in. Ooh, and the Water Elemental was popped by perfect catapult shots. Oh, this massacre is great. We're gonna go for the mass demon strategy, my friends. The Midcraft Bros. We need it. Mass demons. It's about to get deadly. Oh, the demon's dead. Oh. And I guess we can get the uh, upgrades back up and running. It's kind of slacking off there for a bit. And also the upgrades, I think, help the demons, too. Oh yeah, he was going hard for that catapult. Alright, we're going to get the upgrades back up and running. Uh, thanks to the recommendations of DCP, and then also Footbucket chimed in as well, saying that he'd like it. But we're, we are going to go ahead and make a Micraft Discord. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at that for you and see see the, what what it's going to take to set that up. I think it should be fairly simple, but I've actually... I'm in plenty of Discords, never made one before. But we'll go ahead and get a community Discord going and start organizing some multiplayer of various games. I mostly play games that end in craft, 
couple of exceptions, I really like the games Quake and also Doom, uh, if you're familiar with those. Alright, come on. No rain of fire, no rain of fire. Really appreciate you not casting a rain of fire, Conjurer enemy. But yeah, I mostly play games I need in craft, but I mean that's that's not all that I like. I, I like there's a lot of things that I'm highly appreciative of. Um, a lot of first person shooters, Quake and Doom. I play a little bit of Call of Duty Warzone as well. Um, that game's pretty fun. I like the game Fall Guys. I don't know if anyone's played that one, but it's uh it's a very, very fun game. And uh, yeah, a lot of awesome stuff out there that we could all collaborate on and play. Maybe even get some Warcraft 1 going. Um, Toby, I commented on your comment asking if I'd received your email. I have. I think I replied to the email. My apologies if, uh, if you didn't get that. We'll work on getting something set up for you here. But uh, should be good once we get that up and running. Send him after the conqueror. I'm not sure what I fear more. Water elementals or rain of fire. Rain of fire is just it's annoying. It's it's so devastating over a wide area. Now let's get that upgraded. And soon we'll be able to send our first set of four demons out. And it's totally gonna be overkill, guys, but it's gonna be worth it. I'm excited to unleash the fiery forces of hell for you. Let's get another peon out as soon as we can. Actually, we'll use one of the existing ones. Is he chopping wood? We'll get one more on wood. I want to keep clearing the way to that other gold mine. Four if we need it, but it's looking like we're going to be running a pretty, pretty overpowered system going here. Because of the invisible guys that keep showing up, and again, hopefully, hopefully no invisible water elementals, but you never know. But because of the invisible guys that keep popping through, I'm going to, I think, surround my base with upgraded spearmen, which should be pretty good. Not enough lumber. But yeah, we'll put spearmen in various locations. Water elemental coming up. Okay. Well, we're sending our first set of four across, and this should be rather devastating for them, I think. So I think I may have started my Joel Haver story earlier. He's one of my favorite YouTube comedians, but one of those uh, things like the Oscars or something is going on tonight. And in the Oscars, well, the Oscars are quite silly. So Joel, and Joel Haver thinks so too. And so Joel runs a really cool project where he films a, what he calls a feature length movie which I guess is defined as a 40-minute uh, or more movie. And so with that, he's able to... With his feature-length movie, um, he makes one during the Oscars. This is the second year in the row. Second year in a row of doing that. And so part of the idea is that the... You know, it's a good way for people to just come together, making something cool, making something interesting, not playing into those politics of Hollywood and, and whatever else they may be doing. But uh, fun project. And it, uh, I guess the moral of my story or the point that I'm trying to get across is, is I actually briefly contemplating making one myself. But 40 minutes is actually a rather long movie to make and so i didn't get around to it so uh sorry if that's something you would have enjoyed but maybe we can make we can all make one together at some point in the not so distant future we're gonna keep the waves of demons advancing but yeah i was thinking it could be like a cool warcraft one themed video or something like that and uh I think that'd be a lot of fun to make, so we'll, we'll take a look at seeing what we can put together for that. Raiders out here. 
No more clerics. So it turns out there is an effective way to deal with these kinds of summonables. And that's with catapults. I saw an interesting review of this game, and the guy was implying that the demon is actually better than the water elemental, because by default, he moves into close range on the catapults and does not get taken out by them. I disagree, though, because if you're microing your water elementals effectively, then you're actually able to take out the, uh, the catapults just fine, because you just move up the water elementals nice and close to them, and, you know, no big deal. No harm done. How's this gold mine doing? 3,000 left. Mine in a way. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a glorious victory for us. The next wave of demons advances. And with another two to the next base. <laughs> I guess we'll say this is Goldshur up here, and this is Moonbrook. So Goldshur falls. If you played World of Warcraft, especially on an RP server, you know that uh, things get weird in Vulture. So we're going to end the weirdness and make way for a great annihilation. Oh, this is going way too good. Right, we need more farms. Let's get some farms. The pale dogs fall. Yeah, but since the demon, so an intro, the demon technically has a little bit more health and does a little bit more damage than the water elemental. But the demon only has a melee range, and the water elemental has a, you know, full-on ranged attack, and that just, they stack so well. It's kind of like playing StarCraft or something like that. If you're playing StarCraft, you know, Zerglings are actually... Zerglings and Zealots are more powerful than Marines, but Marines have a ranged attack, and with that ranged attack, it's just uh, devastating once they start stacking up. Yes, they do build a new town hall, and we still got magic going. These guys over to Moonbrook, that's what it is. The desecration of Goldshire continues. An already desecrated place, quite frankly. Like I said, those RP servers, weird things are afoot in Goldshire. is coming to an end. I will take out the tower. No more towers. And I am going to leave these guys back at home. I could send them forward, but uh, I want to make sure that we're protected against any of those invisible boys that come on through. The dreaded invisible men. Bane of Artosis. If you follow StarCraft at all, you'll know that Artosis, the StarCraft Brood War player and commentator, is not a fan of the Protoss's Invisible Men, which are the Dark Templar. 
And you know what? I'm not a fan either. Kind of a gimmicky unit that uh, is just annoying. It's like a cheap trick. And unfortunately for the Protoss, a lot of their units are kind of that way. It's just uh, a lot of gimmick units. Well, I don't know. Protoss is fun. It's just, you know, cannon rushes and... Uh, cannon rushes and then um, Dark Templar rushes and things of that nature. A lot of a lot of what you see out of the Protoss. Advance my demons. Spread out a bit more so there's holes for the demons to walk through. Ho ho ho! Mass demons to the rescue. That's all you need, really. The enemy falls. Alright folks, we're moving on to the final mission of the Orc Campaign. After that, I actually have an idea for another Warcraft 1 mission series. I posted a sneak peek of that in the community section of my YouTube page. I'm also going to go ahead and post the OG map of the Kingdom of Azeroth and surrounding lands from the Warcraft 1 manual. Please take a look. I'm Mick. This is Mickcraft. Loktar Ogar! We advance to the final mission of the Orc Campaign. Feel the foam crunching beneath your feet is confirmation of your awesome victory.